We spend an enormous amount of money, with good reason, uh, to recruit people into the military uh, for military service. My understanding is it costs about $15,000 in recruiting costs to bring someone in. And it costs another fifty dollars to $75,000 just to prepare someone um, uh, to start serving in their first unit. Uh, and this is before all the other training costs that go into um, uh, bringing someone up to speed once they're in their first unit and uh, subsequently. <clears throat> there are, as I understand, about 3,400 military personnel who have been dismissed already uh, because of their failure to receive the COVID-19 vaccination. So if you multiply that cost of, of what we lose, what we spend recruiting, and just with the very initial phases of training and onboarding, you multiply that by 3,400, that's a significant expense. You have to ask, what do we get from it? What do we gain by that? And is what we gain by that anywhere close to what we lose by it? That's just in the raw numerical terms. When you look at the, um, the intangibles of this, it's much worse. These are people who we're relying on to perfect us, to, to protect us and to defend us. Um, it's a well-known fact that there's a problem with morale in the military, and that is contributing to an already significant recruiting challenge that we face. So you add this to that, and it's a buzzkill of the first order. Um, look, there was a, a Coast Guard rescue swimmer who earned high praise from the Biden administration. In fact, uh, prompted a call from President Biden specifically to the rescue swimmer in the Coast Guard. He thanked him for his heroism, saving people's lives in the wake of Hurricane Ian just recently. Uh, that, that same person, that same rescue swimmer, has um, been, requested, uh, been requesting a uh, religious exemption to the COVID-19 vaccination, and it was denied, and he's now facing termination. It's one of countless examples. You look at the economic costs, the human costs, and the resulting consequence to American national security and to the safety of our people. 